Dr. Francois Clemens sings in Vermont, wearing a custom-made shamrock green outfit. He sings on his own TV show. And he wears a multicolored outfit. Who can put your hand in my hand? And in reruns, he sings on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, wearing a police officer's uniform. The longtime New Yorker now serves as an artist in residence at Middlebury College in Vermont. This gives him a new audience for his diverse repertoire, including the spirituals his mother sang to him as a boy in Alabama. Away. Those are the songs that are in my psyche, you know, it goes very, very deep inside of me. Historically, the spirituals are the music of black people. It comes out of the slavery experience uh, from the South on the plantations. My family's from the South, they were sharecroppers. I feel an innate, cosmic, organic, if you could use those words, a significance for me. Uh, this life, you know, that I've been given, blessed with on, on this earth. And they just rise from inside of me. Um, I feel that it's important to be connected like that. See that man, all dressed in red, God are gonna trouble the water. Clemens has always rejoiced in spirituality and music. In the late 1960s, he sang at a church in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where Fred Rogers was a member. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Mr. Rogers asked Clemens to make a guest appearance on his new children's show. <laughs> he used to tease me. He had a great sense of humor. Where's Mr. Rogers? Peekaboo. Well, I told him when he invited me the second time to be on Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood <laughs> that I would be very happy to be on his show as long as it didn't interfere with my singing. <laughs> And by that I meant singing at New York City Opera, the Houston Opera, Opera South, the companies that I went around. And so always he would tease me and say, well, uh, Francois, are we interfering <laughs> with your singing? It was like an in-joke among us because he probably did more singularly to enhance my singing than any interference. I mean, that was my youthful, you know, vitality and vigor and naivete that was talking that I would say that to him. So we had a number of private jokes like that. Clemens soon became a regular neighbor on the program, a very musical police officer. Oh, there's Officer Clemens. Hi, Officer Clemens. Come oh, in. Rogers, how are you? Fine. Won't you sit down? Oh, sure. Just for a moment. In the early 70s, Mr. Rogers videotaped this scene with Clemens and a waiting pool, a moment that delivered a subtle but powerful message. I think he was very much making a comment in his way, a subtle comment, about the racial situation in America. And I think it was a an invitation to the nation, if I can be so, uh, so bold as to say that, to share who they are. You know, he's a white man, I'm a black man, but we have a great, great deal in common, which goes beyond race. Race is important, it's who we are. But there are other things that we share. To be in a very relaxed atmosphere and to be able to sing and uh, show people that these two friends from racially different backgrounds, uh, different ages, because he was some 20 years older than I am, and, and still we were dear, special friends. Fred had a way of putting those kinds of ideas across. I've always found him to be a deeply, deeply uh, concerned about uh, a person's growth, and about change. So I didn't just see him as a television personality, but I began to think of him more as a confidant and as a mentor, as a surrogate friend, father, parent type thing. I would talk to him about how I felt as an artist as a black artist in America wanting to do more operatic things and not having the opportunities and how to explore other avenues. I felt that there were deep exchanges. Uh, he was always there, always available. You're a child, so you can do it. While Clemens spent several days a month on the neighborhood set, he also found success as a soloist and performed in operas on stages all over the world. You know what an opera is. 
Clemens always enjoyed the operas Mr. Rogers would stage on his show, such as this one called Spoon Mountain. But it's only a door, just a door on the mountain. This may look like only a door to you, but inside you'll see the best. The outside is never as much as the end. Come in and partake of the I love Spoon Mountain because I like the costume. As Commodore, I was wearing a, a costume as Commodore Clemens, and I love popcorn, and Fred knew that, so I was at a machine that was making popcorn. We use a lot of popcorn here. In the 1980s, with encouragement from Mr. Rogers, Clemens returned to his musical roots and formed the Harlem Spiritual Ensemble. The mission is to keep the American Negro spiritual alive. Clemens eventually left Mr. Rogers' TV show to tour the world with the ensemble he directed but he'd occasionally bring his new group back to his old neighborhood for a visit. He says the ensemble members were all thrilled to meet Mr. Rogers before the videotaping of an episode. We sat down, we stayed there like two hours, and it was just wonderful to see these full adults. I mean, now these are not the four and five and six year old kids, but to see these adults in, in a very real sense become children again and begin to talk to him about the issues that were important in our lives. And I really felt like daddy bringing my kids home to granddaddy, you know, that kind of thing, because he was really very, very wonderful. And uh, it was a very blessed experience. And I think of you when you go to all of those different countries and are away, far away. I'm certainly proud of you. Mr. Rogers passed away in 2003. We've lost somebody very, very special, very meaningful in our lives, who really had a lot of unconditional love. He gave us permission to be who we are. In fact, there are people who are really proud of you and the way you're growing and changing little by little. Now Clemens advises students and lectures in his new neighborhood and directs the Middlebury College Choir. But he hasn't left the TV cameras behind. Clemens sings on his own show on Middlebury Community Television. His program also showcases the work of other artists and gives him a chance to share his colorful wardrobe with public officials. Clemens also meets often with his former neighbors to help keep the legacy of Mr. Rogers alive. And for his fans in Vermont, he continues to explore new styles of music. They never quite know what to expect, and I've always got some kind of new outfit to go with it. I just feel all full of music.